Just before Helen has a go at regurgitation, we have to give our daily talk to the visitors at the wildlife park. You are going to hear some growling, you will see some snarling, you may see the odd nip that goes backwards and forwards as well. How many people amongst you think it's going to be slightly dangerous to go in there with a pack of wolves? Yeah, me too. <laughs> because of their bad reputation, they are still heavily persecuted. This animal's they've been persecuted through poisoning, trapping and shooting still to this day. I'm going to go in now, I'm going to pass you over to Helen, she's going to tell you a little bit about the pack, and then hopefully I'll come back towards the end of the talk and have a chat with you guys, all right? When there's bouts of high tension and hostility, then it's Sean's job to actually put himself right between two wolves growling and snarling and snapping at each other to calm and diffuse everything down. Unfortunately, today things don't go according to plan. Tamaska, the henchman or tough guy of the group, knows that Cheyenne is pregnant and he's very protective over her. Helen, just distracted, quickly. You can, mate, keep going. We call it a, like a, a Tamaska look, where his eyes just glaze over. It's a good idea to come out. Having 130 pounds of wolf growing at you is intimidating to anybody. Every now and again, the wolves give you that dominant challenge to see whether you're able and capable of doing the job that they've got earmarked for you. And that's what Tamaska did to me. It is very much the school of hard knocks in there. It's, um, you take a bite, you analyse what went wrong. My immediate reaction was just like, come on, out you come, come on out. He wanted to tell me something, I didn't listen, so he said, you will listen. And nine times out of ten, you usually listen to him. 